Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles. And of course, my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, it has been a good minute. I won't bore you with the details. Let's just get into the business of the day. First up, uh, we have the interview that was just done by uh, Kolani Kumalo, uh, which is an interview that... He did with um, The Hustlers Corner, which is a channel run by DJ Spoo. My lovely people, if you haven't seen the episode, I suggest you run over there and you watch that episode. That's the type of content, my lovely people, that should be going above a million views within the very same hour that that episode drops because boy was dropping gems okay because my lovely people minayazi i'm for that type of content that builds us that type of content that says we want to get somewhere all of us as Mhambe nyo pega i content ya gas ban banu guti uja amasushi abantana bambanga na yone love brown ne pat. Okay. Mas pumengiles. So what was Kolani uh, discussing over there, my lovely people? First up, one of the issues that he touched on, because I suspect very much that the episode uh they filmed it way before moja love took out their statement because if they saw this episode they probably would not have taken out that statement because now with this episode it makes that particular statement make them seem like such hypocrites you know, my lovely people, remember my lovely people, they took out a statement that they have terminated all relationships that they had uh, pertaining to Ukolani. So the, going from that point onwards, they will no longer be commenting on anything that has to do with Ukolani and they are wishing him all the best on his endeavors whereas ukolani on this episode talks about still waiting still being in negotiations with moja love and they're talking about the possibilities of um having maybe another season and he says you know the mishap that happened with the guy who lost their lives on their on their shoot that happened on a last episode and moja love is giving him all the support that he needs and everything every their relationship is fine and everything and they know exactly how he operates since the his modus operandi was the reason that they gave him the show in the first place so now when you're judging from what he's saying and remember uh, and then you're trying to reconcile it with the media statement that was taken out by moja love now we are wondering what team moja love are you look are you trying to dump Ukolani inside boiling water because this thing can be interpreted into a thousand ways. Can be t interpreted as you saying Kolani is guilty. Guilty of what exactly? Hmm? What exactly is he guilty of? Okay, my lovely people. The other things that uh, Kolani uh, discussed. Before I even go to Ms. Paila up, Ukolani discussed two issues which actually I covered here on this channel. One was um, 
the cry for help that came out from Sebo Gang. Remember when I said, man, I am worried. Uguti, there's this uh, audio clip of this woman who seems to be calling some radio station saying, people help. Uh, hey, it's Chabasa South Africa. Ramapota Harumele Begitele. Yet I checked newspapers, there was nothing to that effect. I checked social media. There was nothing to that effect until I found that one video, one video. And that video is so ugly. Lyle Uguti, you wonder, Uguti, why wasn't the media on it? The police, I see. And once you, if you go back and you search for the video that I'm, I'm talking about, I'll try to even link it here. That video is so ugly. There's not even one police van. There is not even one police van next to that place, Uguti. Okay, aguna bo kaka kaka gane zindwezi wayo. But, huna le mapanga, guys. Huna le mapanga and mapanga a amudi ya klinza maso malia le mapakistan. Even if mapanga angeba le amudi ya klinza ma South Africa, still that situation will be like, why hos na mapodisa? Why my police are asking you, but to buy what? Hence, I say this thing of tax shops. It's like abantuai tatela pads, which is another thing that Utulani is bringing forth. That our people have been conditioned. We have been so brainwashed that we really don't want to talk about important issues. Instead, we want to talk about the Moets. Yeah? Puzwa ma Moet. More than 90% of people can't even put Buroto ka botoro. Buroto bola ba, bola ba, bakole bakeng, bola ba, 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 kokoti se sisa mitzekhin. In most houses, that bread cannot be available. But we don't want to talk about important issues. He was talking that as of the time he was recording this video, hence I say this video was probably recorded before Mojalav made their media statements because he's saying that, oh, good to know, he was on his way to a Subu gang, of which the Subu gang issue, I'm thinking by now it's like, one and a half week old or about two weeks old and still there's not there's no media reports on it that is very worrying my lovely people because we should be demanding what the hell happened in Sibuke hence I report this matters my lovely people with what happened there Hence, I was reporting about the seven days a uh, time that was given to the landlords in Soshanguve. Let us all be in the know. So, my lovely people, it's really worrying. Uguti is in Dwezinje. These are the type of things, lazy Lord, we should be talking about, but we are not. Hey? Another thing he mentioned was, there was this clip, I also, I remember, I also covered it. Immigration, I have no fight with any immigration officer, fight or any police officer. Who I have a fight, please, whoever try to bribe you, don't come to my side, especially Fosbach. Don't come this this. I'm telling you, I'm ready to go prison, I'm ready to go anyway, and I'm ready to do anything. That clip came out the same time as after we lost the kids who ate poisoned food in Naledi. And those people were like, you touch one of us, you touch all of us. If you're going to come here, we are going to do what? As in, 
the, they were promising to retaliate against someone or some group or something which could easily be interpreted as an Ugoti. They are ready to attack South Africans, which is somebody who if looks at that clip, and had my commentary, then Walandela, the, what happened in Sibuking, that people will be saying like, but Eleanor Yabona Utize, that person is not talking about South Africans, and now they went and they attacked South Africans. Ugut. Well, no. These people were actually talking about a group, and they were saying Uguti. They are being victimized by some group. At that time, we did not know what he's talking about. On this particular video, Ukolani takes responsibility for that. Would you know those people were actually addressing me? Because we were actually going there. Or we are actually going there. Because these people are selling our kids um, expired food. And we did actually send the word out because now it as of the time they were recording, he's saying that he already had intel that there's above 120 kids who are hospitalized because of eating um, poisoned food. Us. Uh, they're saying um, they won't be frightened by a guy that is moving with two combis, which is me. Uh, they're saying well, they will continue selling in this expiry. And if, today, U702, it was reported that there's 120 children that are critically ill. 120. There's five children that died in Gauteng. There's two children that died in Limpopo. But the injury to one is injury to all. Because me now, I'm harassing them, I'm intimidating them. But in an injury to our children, what are we doing? As soon as you go, hey, Lama tax shops are not doing this in Tungil They are selling the wrong, wrong things. No, we have a bylaw, what, what? These bylaw people will go and stuff like that. And if me in Angia and eradicate those things as expired and expose those people, at what capacity are you operating? But at what capacity are these, sell these guys selling is in this expired? What happened? So, I'm suffering the same fate. But no one can Another thing he talked about, my lovely people, he actually talked about the politicians. Which our politicians are iffy. They are iffy, it is showing because there is no political will to stop the sketch of drug abuse in our country. And these people, but Jane, 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 these drug dealers, because they are having the protection of the higher ups. Stop hating on your future employers. These people are going to hire you. They are the most polite people. Even when they are educated, they still work for small jobs that pay nothing. They, are not, they don't have pride. They know that you have to work to serve and feed your families. That's why they are here. One day, like it almost happened in Cuba, when Obama wanted to lift the embargo against Cuba, one day it is going to happen. I pray to the ancestors of the revolution that it happens when I'm still alive so that I can replay these videos and say I want you about harassing your future employers. I want you about exploiting the people who are going to share their land with you because they've done it before. Basically, my lovely people, the gist of the entire interview that Ukolani was having, not DJ Spoo, he was basically just 
if I can box it in a few sentences, he was basically saying, we now have the government. We now have the government. We have this democracy that we fought for, that we cried for for such a long time, for generations and generations, and now we are having it. And we are wasting it. What good is this uh, democracy if our youth is drug addicts, if our husbands, our sisters, our mothers, our fathers, our uncles are drug addicts? If not that, then they are the dealers themselves. They are the criminals. What good is it? Because it means, Manji, we are wasting that democracy. We are going to lose the country back to the oppressors. Actually, not even to the oppressors. We will lose it to the foreigners as we have already lost it to the foreigners valley because there are places that you cannot go because those places are actually controlled. They belong to the foreigners. No. When we go to Zimbabwe, we go to Zimbabwe with respect. When I, as a South African, I go to Zimbabwe, I go to Ethiopia, I go to Egypt, I go to Nigeria, I go there with respect. And I respect the laws of that country. Uguti pota yatini yangatini, mabaha mbene pota leyo, baisu si pota, baha mbe nomale mawabu. jealous. Yes, I am jealous. I am jealous because we are losing our kids. Do you know how painful it is when a mother, which is a case I've seen, when a mother, Abulala umtwanaki. Abulala umtwanaki. Akipa umoya umtwanaki. Enyameni. Apume ati. I did not have a choice. Beinye kwindu ime nga yenza. Mtwanambega nga se eko bekseli suluani. Bengseng zondwa umparati. Begasa amilela nami. Gimle tela mkabe nang mila la mazimi. Owa amuntan. Azelwe yimi. Ambula lumtan. A woman did. And recently, I think it was about three weeks ago, I saw another episode. This one was a colored lady who told almost the same story that I've heard from a woman, some woman in Soshangufe who killed Mtwanaki. That woman nai what? Nzoifuna episode ya kon. I will put the link here. Can we have real conversations? Can we have real Can we be frustrated? Can we be angry? And to, to show Ugut we are frustrated, we are angry, we are saying enough is enough, I will only believe Ugut we are there when I see ANC disappearing from parliament, EFF disappearing from parliament, DA disappearing, Fox Front disappearing from parliament, IFP, Pumanapu. If we actually now fight to get our own leader in there, even if Sio Hambatina, Simbambe Nisanda, Oweitu, Situ Kolani, Gentrovis, Uza Kibela La Piana, and lead our president in Asazi song, Sesiza Ibona Pambi. All we want, Ugut, Zama investors, and whatever not, Leon Yongo Zaibona Pambi. First things first. 
my bamboo tattoo with all the pants. I my all the pants in bamboo tattoo. Let's start there. I get calls of Chelama borders. People abo malema bazo nlasha nyonyo. Let's go. Let's take it to before. Guza ma colonizers. Siye, M Tetwen Wenkos, Nam Shaji. How do ya ha kosi skukuni or ha kosi mashangu? Ufige wena nom kukwa kotuzo sho mam tetogaban. Unga yang indunen. Indunang azi. Wena ubone shati wabono rum kuku. I dare you to try. Please go to where they are still using chiefs. Go in KZN, go in Pumalanga, go in Popogo. Choose, choose Lailu Gutuna Makos. Hambe Cape Town Lap. Hamba Laguna Makos. Ufigu Begum Cook. Please go to the video. Cause Mboni Sambok. Mbona Jews of Utwa. Masinya na. Au deli ilu mtetu wengosu. Eba ndu ini. Laba ilu kutiba salande ilu mtetu wengosu. You'll get away with it. Lapia na gubu mulot. Definitely. Hai laba sati. E si shonelwe. Inko si masno. Si ashata. Inko si masno. Si beletile. Inko si masno. Uzafosa se mga. Lapo uya biga. Aksi ipota intole. Aksi ipota naba. Angazi my lovely people. Please. Rush over to the Hustlers Corner. Which is a show that is run by DJ Spoo. Watch that interview by Golani. You will not be disappointed, my lovely people. You will not be disappointed. The things that he talks about me are so scary. I think I will be dissecting it again. I think I will be because there are things lazy. I'm still like, say, Golani, say, what? 